Hey humanoids, Crazy Dad here. Today's topic is a very popular topic which is gonna make me a lot of enemies, especially from mommies and daddies who think there's a lot of homework given to their kids. School is in full force all over the world and it's the age old debate, homework versus no homework. Why can't we do what Finland does? Why? Can't we copy the Finnish educational system? Why do our kids have homework? So let me tell you why kids need homework. Because kids are turning lazy, tech dependent. They are brain dead. They need efficient, effective homework. I'm not saying two, two and a half hours a day for a third grader or fourth grader. I don't approve of that. My take is between 25 to 40 minutes of homework every day reading writing arithmetic is needed for the kid for the child the non-academic advantages that homework has on a kid is immense first of all it builds their independence they're independent they open their school bags their their pencil case their book their manuals and they start doing their homework builds them self-esteem I finished my homework, I'm proud. I asked my daddy and my mommy a little bit here and there, but you know what, I still did it. Gives him responsibility. I have to do my homework for tomorrow or I'm in trouble. Makes them responsible, makes them accountable. Also, it prepares them for high school and college and real life, seriously. Come on, I hear about, oh my God, my kid has so much homework and this and that. What's gonna happen when he's gonna go to high school or college? If you can't tell a kid at six, seven, eight years old, nine years old to do his homework for 20, 30 minutes, and if he needs help, of course, of course you have to help him. Let me get this, it's my wife, I don't wanna be in trouble. Sorry, I didn't wanna sleep in the garage again. So I was saying, if you can't tell your kid right now to do homework, what makes you think when he's 12, 13, 14 that he's going to listen to you to do homework? I didn't do homework when I was 8. Why am I going to do it now? I have a girlfriend, I have a boyfriend. I want to go out, I want to go to the mall, whatever the case is. You guys are screwed. The problem is right now is we don't know. Well, those who say blatantly, Let's follow the Finnish educational system, which is ranked number one by the PISA. Have no idea what they're talking about. They have no idea what the system is all about. They don't know one hundredth of the machine that makes that system work. I'll give you a few points. All the schools are public. They're fully, fully subsidized by the government. There is no gap between poor, middle class, and rich. So whether you're extremely poor or extremely rich, you have the same rights, the same benefits, the same advantages, the same education as everyone. You are fed. Kids are fed at school. They are taken care of. They are gems. Number two, teachers only teach four hours in Finland. Well, you see... They teach four hours, but here they're teaching six to eight hours. Well, again, before just being a zombie again and just listening to others talk, do your research for goddamn sakes. Two hours a day, they do what's called, I even did my research, just for so you know. They call the, what they call professional development, meaning they take every single student that they are teaching and they are analyzing every single bit of that student his strengths his weakness what he needs to work on what he's strong at what can help him learn better study better increase his skills and so forth that's done on a daily basis teachers in finland are considered like doctors lawyers judges they are respected i see teachers crying here being treated like shit 
and I've seen it because I'm a teacher myself. Well, with my stature, my size and strength, nobody even dared, but I was a very strict teacher. Very strict. But the kids love me and still do. Anyways, what I'm saying is the teachers are respected there. And I could just imagine here, parents, I know how parents are. No homework. Woohoo! Everybody's great. The kids are having fun. They're not stressed. The parents can do whatever they want. They could have family time, which is amazing. I'm not saying it's not. But then what's going to happen is the first PTA meeting, you come to the school and the teacher is going to say, Hello, nice to meet you. So your son got a 36 in math, a 42 in English. In French, he's almost there. He's got a 6. You're going to freak out. You are going to, you're going to forget about the no homework policy. You're going to be, what the hell? How come I didn't know about it? How come I wasn't aware? How come it doesn't bring work at school? Well, sir, we're a no homework school policy. What stupid idea is that? Which brings me to my other point in Finland. Every kid has the same education. And there was a research done by Cooper, Robinson and Patel in 2006 where there's actually no correlation between going to school and achievement, but they found a positive correlation. Listen to this now. A positive correlation between homework and kids that had difficulty studying, kids that had bad grades. They found a positive correlation, a proof, a conclusive proof that homework helped those kids. So again, if you're in a no homework school environment, and you get your first report card and you see 50s all over, don't get mad at the teacher. Get mad at the system. The teacher only applies the system that it's given. So I see this coming. Another thing about Finland that maybe no one knows. In order to teach in Finland, you have to have a master's degree. Every teacher in Finland, without exception, without a shadow of a doubt, has a master's degree. And only 10% of the graduates, 10 out of 100, get chosen to teach. 16 students per experimental classes, sciences. They do very complex experiments. They take their time. They're relentless in repetition. And they do it. So this is just all to say. Whoever thinks... A no homework environment in our system here in Canada will work because it works in Finland, is high on drugs, drunk on a daily basis, or my favorite saying has been lobo lo lobotomized. Simple as that. Again, don't get me wrong. I don't approve two, three hours a day. I don't approve crushing a kid because you could destroy his ego. But 25 to 40 minutes a day is needed for the kid to have structure, discipline, to know what he's doing, to make sure that he's ready for class the next day. Just to give you an idea, there's four types of homework, four efficient types of homework that every parent can do. And again, I'm not saying an hour, 25 to 40 minutes. Practice, which is repetition. Whatever you did today, do a few examples. Make sure you understand the concepts. Preparation. Prepare for the following lessons. Then there's extension, using old concepts to learn new concepts. And then lastly, there's integration, using what you learned to do projects and assignment. And this, I will finish with this integration. And lastly, in Finland, they do not teach you how to pass a test. They do not teach you how to write a test. They teach you how to learn. They teach you how to take the skill of learning, of absorbing information, and using it in life. So, again, my advice, in conclusion, Crazy Dad says this. Let's say you and a Finnish counterpart go skydiving. We're on a plane, 20,000 feet in the air. I have my parachute. He has his parachute. And I see his parachute is so cool because, you know, it's Finland and, and it's number one ranked. So I decide to apply the same philosophy, but not fully. 
what's going to happen? He's going to jump. And his system is going to work perfectly because it's been working for 40 years. Just so you know, the Finnish educational system has been in place for 40 years. When he's going to pull that line there, that trigger, his shoe is going to open beautifully, perfectly and nicely. So if we apply what the Finnish do in, in schools over there, and, and apply this no homework policy without taking the whole system and machine behind this no homework policy. When you're going to pull on that rope, the only thing you're going to feel is air. And the only thing that's going to happen is you're going to crash down. And like I said, when you're going to see that first PTA, that first report card, you're going to be, what the fuck is going on? If you have any questions, be my guest. I'm here all day. Crazy Dad, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I love it. Hope you do too. Have a good day.